Hello again, juniors. This is the Outdoor Fitness Challenge. This is also a time-based fitness challenge. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go through a little warm-up routine here prior to this, because this has got a lot of running in it. So it's basically your body's gonna need to be nice and warm. Okay, so, this is all pitch-based. The, the layout is all to do with the pitch, so if you just, uh, well, get a rugby pitch, measure it out, whatever, whatever's available to you, you can just get it done. All right, so, uh, First and foremost, what, what I'd like you to do when you get there is just have a couple of runs around the pitch, get a good sweat on, get your body temperature up. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to go through a sort of a quick sort of stretching routine just to get you ready for your running. Okay? So, the first, well, after your run, you've got a good sweat on. I've already got a good sweat on, I've already did the last workout. What we're going to do is we're going to get into the downward dog position and just start pumping your calves out, right? So, I'm trying to stick my bum up in the air and I'm just pumping my calves, just lengthening them out. Okay, so you can take your time with this, it's just trying to shift your weight over and over, from foot to foot, nice long lengthens. After that, we're going to bring one leg through like this, just going to stretch my glute out on this front leg here, so I'm trying to fill up my chest and I'm leaning in here from different angles, from my knee round to my foot, right, so I'm going to lean in, breath. So you notice I'm trying to keep my back straight here initially. That's just so all the tension translates into my hip. After I've done a few rounds of that, I'm going to let my back bend. Just get that stretch into my lower back as well as my glute here. Okay, so just different angles again. Just trying to get my head closer to the ground. All right, obviously we're going to do both sides. Straight after that, we're going to be into your hip flexor stretches. So we're going to take a knee like this. I've got that tuck on my hip. I've got my abs engaged, and as I push forward here, I'm gonna squeeze that rear glute, right? So I'm not pushing my hip forward like this. I'm squeezing my glute. So I'm squeezing the opposing muscle. Glute stretches hip flexor, okay? So I'm squeezing my glute as I'm pushing forward here as well as my abs. And then I'm gonna get a few good reps straight on. Then what I'm gonna to start to do is just twist that front tension off. So I'm gonna get that front tension that I was feeling, twist it off towards the lead leg there. So I'm keeping my head straight. And then we're going to do a few reps where we get that front tension and turn your whole body. So I'm going to turn my head, that's going to lead my body around. After that, I'm going to widen my base up a little bit more. I'm going to get that front tension again. I open my body up, so I'm stretching all through my pec, serratus, oblique, into my psoas here. Just that hip crease muscle. So the feeling, that separation, that stretch all the way down the side of your body. Okay, after that, we're up onto our feet. We're going to grab our toes like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to use your quads, your thigh muscles, to lengthen out your hamstrings, right? So I'm pulling, squeezing my quads. So you can go for reps like that. It's going to start to just ease. Basically, that pressure is going to ease. You're going to feel like you can straighten your legs a bit more, or you can just pull a bit harder, okay? After that, we're into single leg Romanian deadlifts. Let's just get your hamstring and your glutes even more active. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna let my knee be soft at the front leg and I'm gonna slide my foot back along the floor here. So that knee's never going in front of the toe. Probably a weird camera angle, but it's okay. Knee's go never going in front of the toe because I'm trying to reach backwards, not go forwards like that with my knee. Yeah, I'm reaching back along the floor. I'm gonna drive up, focusing on this glute activation here. I'm squeezing that glute on the way up. Okay, so that's hip heavy, hamstring heavy, step back, hamstring heavy, is instead of sliding that foot along the floor, we're gonna try and kick the wall behind us in a nice lengthen, where you're trying to reach back. So we're not trying to reach over to touch the floor, where a lot of people tend to bend their back. You're gonna keep your chest expanded and get that leg reaching back. So you'll notice I'm not trying to touch the floor, I'm actually just trying to touch the wall behind me. Okay, so we're gonna do that either leg, just a few reps either leg to get you nice and warm. Then we're gonna get into this wide, wide position with my well, stance here. <laughs> and then uh, we're gonna go into some lateral lunges, right? So I'm pushing down with that planted foot and then I'm gonna drive off, getting that glute active here and then I'm gonna sit nice and low. Pushing down again, feeling that stretch there, driving into the middle, down to the side, driving up again. I'm just gonna go through reps like that until it's feeling nice and loose in there and you can get nice and low to the ground. Okay, so that's just great for your flexibility. It's also good for your glute function. So your groin isn't impeding your glute function, okay? 
So that's just stretching out your hamstrings and your hips. Then we're going to be down. We're going to be in the press up position. Actually, yeah. Well, we're going to start with your knees on the floor. Okay. And all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to bring my chest away from the floor and drop my chest down towards the floor. So I'm just kind of moving my scapula around, my shoulder blades around for you. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to start to roll the shoulders as well in a nice circular motion. Okay, after we've done that, we're going to be in the press-up position. And what we're going to do is we're going to cross your hands over and just walk them round the arc in front of you. So it's probably a 180 arc. I'm actually stuck inside here, so there's no, there's not a 180 arc. But we're just going to keep the feet planted in one area, crossing the hands over, keeping your chest expanded. We're just going to go round the arcs, okay? After that, you're going to reach through, scratch your rib here, and we're going to open up to a T position, looking up to the sky. And then I'm going to, well, you can do the same side a few times. And then we'll swap sides, getting that control through the shoulder. Okie dokie. All right, so that should get you nice and ready for what we're going to do now. So obviously you're already at the pitch. Uh, every single one starts at the try line, okay? So you just get to the try line, get your water ready. And uh, also, yeah, get your stopwatch ready, okay? So um, first exercise on here is bear crawls out to the 22 with a jog back. So a bear crawl position, or form, I should say. So we're going to be on your hands and knees, and then your knees are going to be slightly off the ground, right? So this is the position for bear crawls. We're practicing being level with the spine, which is obviously what you want for rugby. So if your hips are up here like this and your head is down, and you're running like that, that's not it, okay? So we're level. Level with your spine, practicing transferring force. That doesn't transfer force forward very well, yeah? We're trying to practice driving forward. Okay, so any, any scrummages and mauling, right, and rucking. Basically, every single position requires your spine to be like this. So if your hips are above, that's not good, okay? So there's bear crawls, out to 22, jog back. There's six of those. Straight after that, you've got three 40-yard dashes, so you're out to the 10-meter line with a jog back, walk back, whatever you want to do, because this is actually a time-based thing, so you can jog it back, try and cover the, cover the time nice and quick, or you can jog it back and try and be nice and explosive, right? Obviously, for, for the fitness challenge, so for the senior squad one, a lot of lads just didn't really kind of rest. They just tried to get through all the work, which is fine. But then this, uh, as we get closer to the season, you could use the same workout again and actually incorporate a little bit of rest. So you're just being more explosive in those sort of shorter, sharper, well, explosive phases of the workout, right? So it's 340-yard dashes, so just out to the 10-meter line, jog it back. After that, you've got 20 reverse lunges, right? So you're just going to be on the try line for this. You're not going to move from the try line. So reverse lunges, the reason I've got you doing these is because a common problem with lunges is people's knees come forward like this. All right, so what we're doing is we're going to reverse lunge. So we're going to step back. And my hip, as you see here, God, it's such a weird camera. Okay, so my hip is going backwards, right? So you can see that my knee is never going anywhere near the end of my toe like this. So a lot of people lunge forward like that, right? So we're going to sit your hip back and then you're going to step up other side hit back step up so my knee is just kind of kissing the ground i'm not i'm not plonking i'm just kissing the ground kissing the ground so i'm stepping back driving up off a nice even foot so i'm not pushing up off of the toe even foot placement okay so that's 20 reverse lunges so just 10 either leg on paper it doesn't sound like very much but after you've done a few runs it's going to be pretty tiring okay after that, you've got 20 knee up, knee in and out jumps, okay? So these are just nice dynamic movement here. So after you just kind of tied your legs out a little bit, these look like this, right? So I'm, first and foremost, I'm going to try and sort of knee myself in the, in the chin with both my legs. So I'm just going to come up, knee, all right? Knee, as high as I can. Then I'm going to bring my elbows in like this, and my knees are going to come outside. So outside. Okay, so there's 20 of those. So what I like to do is we'll alternate, right? So we'll go maybe even 10 in, or we can go in, out, in, out. Right, so one, two, three, four. Just gonna carry on all the way up to 20. It's gonna be pretty tiring that. And then boom, you're straight, after you've done that, after you've done those 20 jumps, after that you've got 200 meter sprints to do, right? So just to the other try line. So you're gonna do your jumps and then straight away, bang, when you hit the ground, see you later. Boom, 100 meters in the bag. Walk or jog it back, depending on how tired you are. And then straight away, you've got another one. You don't have to do the jumps again. You're straight into the 100 meters. 
All right, so we've got another 100 meters straight after that. So two 100 meter sprints with a jog back. Oh, I'm getting tired just talking about it. All right, and then uh, straight after that, your little finisher is three. Oh, these are cool. Uh, these aren't really Broncos, but it's okay. Right, so I'm gonna call them Broncos for all intents and purposes here. What you're gonna do, the try line is the baseline, okay? Every time you get to the try line, you're gonna hit your tummy, all right? You're gonna get on the floor. So you're gonna start on your tummy, the baseline of the try line. You're gonna go out to the five, back track, so you're not gonna turn your back. You're gonna go hit the deck, out to the 22 and back, hit the deck, out to the 10 and back, hit the deck, halfway and back, hit the deck, and that's one. So you've got three of those in a row to do. That is your finisher. After you've done those three, so once you've gone to the 50 and back on that last one, click, that's the time done. Post those times. Good luck, boys, and I look forward to seeing your times. All right, so uh, please message me or just follow me on Instagram, Fully Auto Fitness, or you can just message me on Facebook. Uh, yeah, all my numbers and all my uh, details are on there as well, okay? So uh, good luck, lads, and see you all after the lockdown's over. <laughs>